Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've made. Uh, this journal is a sewing themed journal and I've used a kit from Artie Mays and I will link that below. It's I think it's just called her sewing journal kit. Um, it turned out quite chunky. Uh, I've done qu quite a bit of sewing in this one. And it's a clasp envelope cover which I've inked up using a distress stain which is uh, gathered twigs, done some stitching around the edges. I did have to trim it down a little bit. I think it measures, let me see, um, it's eight by five and three quarters of an inch and it's got one signature. The front and back covers have been Mod Podge so they're nice and it's a matte Mod Podge that I use so it's not really, it has got a slight sheen to it but it's not very shiny, not like the gloss one. Um, I find the gloss one is very sticky whereas I don't have any problems with the matte Mod Podge, it's not sticky, it dries really well. Um, I know that some people have um, is issues with it and I think that's a lot to do with um, the humidity and stuff like that and you know depending on where you live. So anyway, I've got some eyelets here, I've got some coffee dyed seam binding, I've used this lace trim here, these rosette flowers, uh, this is on a trim, and let's go inside, if I can do it without, I'm just moving my tea out of the way in case I spill it all over the place. Right, so on the inside here, I've just used um, one of the pages, cut it in half, used one bit of it on the uh, inside cover and the front and this one on the back. Most of the pages, um, well, in fact all of the pages are left um, so that you can see the lovely images on there. <clears throat> There's 80 pages front and back here. So I cut down one of the pages because I had some of this kit printed off already but it was a different size. So I've used that um, cut it down and just made it into a like a side tuck and I've just made a tag here and an envelope here with the journaling card inside and this is all from the kit. I've just put on some seam binding there and I kind of ruffled it all up. I didn't sew it on, I glued it on and I just kind of pinched it all to get that ruffled look. Done some stenciling on the pages. Here I just made a belly band and we have the journaling card and a large tag there and it's all been sewn. I've got a doily here and there's some crocheted trim, paper bag. Got a pocket here with the tag. All the tags have been um, stitched onto doubled over coffee dyed paper so it's a little bit squishy. <coughs> more of that um, seam binding there just all gathered up. Here I've just made a pocket and I've just put some lace trim here, some eyelash trim and a crocheted flower, uh, not flower, crocheted doily, a mini one. This isn't from the kit but I found them on Pinterest I believe. I've just got some fluffy yarn here. Side pockets here with some tags some crochet to trim here. This is the little needle books that come with the kit. Sorry, you can probably hear my printer printing at the moment. <laughs> another doily, another paper bag, another pocket here and inside this one we've got a little envelope with a double journaling card. And that pops in there. Some more ruffled seam binding. Here I've just used one of the dress forms to make a side tuck and I've just put a little tiny safety pin here with some crocheted trim. This is from the kit, this isn't. And just added these little bits of um, lace trim. Here I've just made a pocket with one of the smaller pages that I had and just made a journaling card and put that inside there. Some more of that ruffled seam binding, some lace trim. I've left, there is um, tails of cotton on there. 
which I've just left, they can be trimmed off. Um, this is for sale on my Etsy if anyone's interested. I've got two tags here. Um, one of these cotton reels here and it's just got um, some lace trim in the back, a little patch of um, material, some eyelash trim and a button which has just got a little bit of baker's twine running through it. In the middle of the signature I've just got two of these little butterflies and it says created for you. Another um, cotton reel with again some lace some fibres and a little patch of material on a button. Another pocket here and this can be a double pocket because you can put something inside there but you could also journal on there as well. Some more tags and another dress form with safety pin and some crocheted trim. Oops, it's a little bit sticky. Um, some more of the ruffled seam binding. The other side of the paper bag, instead of trimming it off, I just folded it over, done some sewing, made a pocket, made some fabric ruffles here, and a journaling tag inside there. And on here we've got a tag, um, a pocket and a tag. Doily, some more tags. You get a good selection of ephemera with this kit and another little needle book which just there we go some crochet to trim another pocket here with some lace and fibers and a crochet to doily Another one of these pockets from the other side of the paper bag with a ruffled fabric trim bit here. Don't know what you call it. <laughs> ruffled trim. Um, another tag, a doily, another um, belly band here, uh, an envelope with oh, journaling card, double journaling card. Nearly at the end, another side tuck here with some ruffled seam binding, a large tag, and another envelope. And that pops in there, and that is the end of it. So that's the journal. Um, like I said, I'll put a link below to Art, Artie Mays' Etsy shop if you want to pop over and have a peek. And this is listed on my Etsy. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.